Yeah, solar power is really essential uh, to doing any type of work in developing country and trying to be self-sufficient. Uh, electric uh, power bills, expenses, how to provide stable power, they're, they're things we deal with on a regular basis in developing countries and solar power provides that, uh, that dependability, the stability, um, and then ultimately the cost savings that can allow a developing country to do work on their own uh, and to be self-sufficient and be able to, to work without constant inflow of money from uh, more developed countries. Uh, power is especially difficult in a country like Mali. Mali is landlocked and has very little sources of energy within their country. Uh, most all power in Mali is run through diesel fuel generators. Even whole cities are run through diesel fuel generators. But when there's difficulty within the country, such as a coup back in March 2012, uh, the borders were shut, were shut and diesel fuel wasn't able to, to be brought into the country. And so the whole country came to a, to a stop, to a standstill, as a result of not being able to have any power within the country. Uh, but Mali does have lots of one resource, and that's the sun. The sun is very powerful here in Mali. Uh, there's not a day of the year where uh, the temperatures aren't very high during the day and has great sun. And so we're blessed to have lots of sun here. And thankfully, through the technology of solar power, we can harness that power of the sun and use it to provide power. Uh, so it's a, it's a tremendous gift that God has given Mali. At the Kuchala Hospital for Women and Children, we're trying to do something that is not done anywhere in Mali, and, and that is to provide top-level care for the poor. Uh, generally, those who can pay for good care can get good care, but those who are poor cannot afford necessary life-saving treatment. And trying to do that in a self-sufficient manner is very difficult from a financial point of view. A very critical key component is energy. Uh, for a hospital our size, as we continue to grow, we can very easily surpass $4,000 a month in diesel fuel trying to provide electricity. And with solar power, uh, we can have free electricity uh, once the solar panels are in place that enables us to provide care for the poor and able to pay the salaries of our workers uh, due to the, the energy savings that we have.